what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joe King John City 4 and today I want to talk about Call of Duty 2017 and how boots on the ground can actually be a bad idea and now I know I know people I know you guys want to niche me right now because you know boots on the ground can actually be the best thing that could happen to the Call of Duty franchise and I'm over here criticizing it you see I started since Black Ops 1 I've been playing this game since 2011 and let me tell you guys there are a lot of negative things coming out of boots on the ground and don't worry people I'll do a positive side too so hold your dislikes so anyways let's start with the biggest negative about boots on the ground spawn trapping I know most of the new players in the Call of Duty franchise don't even know about this but back in the Modern Warfare series there was a thing called spawn trapping people perfectly lined up like around the B flag and along, along the sides of the map like leaving you cornered on the map and there will usually be like one person on the A flag so people won't spawn behind us like it was like a wall kind of wherever you spawn where your teammates spawn they're gonna trap you there and you cannot do nothing about it unless you know how to move around then you can pretty much get a, like around it and everything but it was pretty much difficult I remember back in Modern Warfare 3 people would do that for Moabs and people called like around three or four moabs per game because of this bullshit but i ended up you know pretty much canceling some moabs out there it was pretty much hilarious back in the day and in black ops 2 also they attempted that but it was quite difficult because you can actually spawn behind the enemy so it was mostly be like around modern warfare 3 the modern warfare 2 era and the call of duty 4 game that you can actually pull out pull out the uh pull off the, the spawn thing the spawn trap thing and then um Another problem that I can tell you guys about boots on the ground has to be the camping. It's going to be extreme camping people. It's not going to be, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as bad as Call of Duty Ghost because I'm pretty sure the spy plane is actually going to work this time compared to the stupid box that we had to put down on the floor. Call of Duty Ghost just seriously suck balls man I swear. But, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as bad but people are still going to abuse the camping spots. You cannot do nothing to avoid it like imagine you're going down the hallway and this person is hiding behind a box you can't do nothing about it because he has more cover than you so you have to shoot at him but he has more chance to shoot you down and you cannot avoid him you cannot like jump up you cannot like wall run to avoid the shots you have to go directly towards him or just drop down and do a drop shot or whatever you, you want to do but it's going to be quite difficult to avoid the enemy now unless you have the stock attachment then you can pretty much get away from the enemy but i highly doubt you'll be surviving more than what you are right now because you know you have all the jetpack thing the exosuits nowadays but now boots on the ground good luck with that shit good luck avoiding bullets from the campers so another thing i want to talk about has to be the quick scopers the quick scopers oh my god it's been a big war between me against them all the damn time back in black ops 1 i would harass them so bad man i cannot even believe people were quick scopers in black ops 1 the freaking connection sucked balls and also every time you were aiming with a sniper it aimed at a random point of your screen why were people quick scoping in that game and then modern warfare 2 modern warfare 3 also the same thing it sucked it had a delay or something like that in modern warfare 3 it was super easy to take down quick scopers but uh i believe it, it was until black ops 2 where quick scoping became super easy even myself i started quick scoping i was like holy shit i'm gonna rush it but i'm over here quick scoping like that was crazy so um the problems with Black Ops 2 had was the quick scopers. They killed off the ground war games. And the reason why is because there was no way to avoid them. Most of the maps were linear. There were like three pathways. So they can like put like two per pathway and you're stuck on one side. You cannot capture the B flag unless you have like some fucking riot shield. Half of the time I use riot shields against them and they'll be all mad and shit, but it turned out difficult to capture the flag afterwards because people were quick scoping like all the damn time it became annoying and it was super difficult to avoid that's one of the biggest major problems when it comes down to boots on the ground people abusing the freaking quick scoping thing i had no problem with them to be honest i took out so many of them that they've been pissed at me but most of you guys are going to struggle against them Another thing that could be bad about boots on the ground, no, no wall running, no jumping, there's like less ways to avoid bullets, spawn trapping, camping, um, I think that's about it to be honest. I'm pretty sure most of you guys can take up the challenge, but most of the new players, I'm telling you, they're all gonna quit. <laughs> they're not gonna last more than a day in that freaking game, I swear. If they can, like, if they can like barely last an infinite warfare, because right now you have like all these, you know, 
pretty much good things going around you because you can avoid bullets, good luck in boots on the ground. You're not going to survive for that long, especially with old school weapons. The post is going to be taking World in World War II. I don't know how that's going to work, but we're going to have old school weapons. Just play Battlefield 1. You'll see what we can have. So um, that's all I want to talk about today, guys. You know, Call of Duty 2017 is going to be a hell of a time for sure when it come back 100%. I mean, you guys can already tell how the thing's going to be like in the future. In 2017, how I'm going to commentate and everything. How I'm going to like lay down like the lessons so like, you guys can learn how to play the game and everything. I'm ready to go 100% back into that game and, you know, pretty much own. Too bad I'm, I'm going to be a little bit rusted though. Since I'm skipping Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, I haven't played like a serious first person shooter game. Like it's going to be very difficult for me to come back, but I'll try my best to be 100%. So that is it, people. Like, if you guys got any opinions, any ideas about this whole situation on why boots on the ground could be a bad idea or a good idea, leave it in the comment section and I'll read it later.